The daily routine of walking the dog on, is different for Hunter Van Brocklin. She helps with just about everything. Step by step, Hunter and his service dog, Wendy, are working on his stamina. To be able to walk further. Let's go. Hunter has cerebral palsy. And he was born 14 weeks early, so he's worked for everything he's gotten. His parents, Andy and Kelly, remember getting Wendy when Hunter was seven years old from the service dog project in Massachusetts. Want a treat? Good girl. And within 10 feet of them walking together, the trainer and Carlene knew that they were a match. After a year of training, Hunter could take Wendy to school with him, helping him get up and down stairs. We were trying to keep him walking as long as possible. Um, they had told us he wouldn't walk past seven. She's like bringing your favorite stuffed animal everywhere. Even with Wendy's help, doctors said Hunter would still need hip dysplasia surgery in January of 2016, with a chance that he might never walk again. We knew that you have to take steps back sometimes when you're dealing with CP to take steps forward. Hunter's surgery went well, thanks in part to all his previous work with Wendy. Now Hunter is learning to swim, cleaning up the yard, and even hiking Tuckerman's Ravine on Mount Washington. There is one more reason why Wendy means so much to this family. The Van Brocklins got the call that connected them to Wendy on the birthday of Hunter's brother, Gavin. Gavin never knew Wendy. Gavin died before he was seven weeks old. He's more independent, he can run around, he can walk around without her and play dodgeball or he's playing soccer, um, stuff that he probably wouldn't have been able to do if he was wheelchair bound. And Wendy did that. With Wendy's help and Hunter's perseverance. Pretty amazing. You, everybody wants the best for their kids and he's worked for it. We only give him the tools. He has the drive and the determination. And that's Hunter.